Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Good day, hello, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die with yet another 5x5 five five challenge. Um, we already did one, which was the brute force base. It was not the most, um, it wasn't the prettiest base in the world, but it worked. We survived. We lived until... Um, until morning we killed all the zombies completed the challenge but i thought i could do this better i said during that video that i was going to come up with an idea based on my previous video um about the floating pit base already a video for that on my channel but i wondered if i could adapt that particular premise to the five by five challenge so this is what we've done We have a huge chute all the way down to bedrock. Five by five, all the way down. What I had to do is I had to add some concrete, uh, some steel, sorry, half blocks at the very top layer of the stone. Because when I first built this and I, I tried to support it on topsoil, um, it just collapsed under its own weight. So I had to support it with some half blocks down there and I put some extra plates and corner pieces in the middle there to give it a little bit more stability if you've watched that video you'll understand how the um, how the building physics in this game works but essentially as far as the game is concerned all of these blocks are connected they're all supported by one another which should give us a little bit of extra stability rather than just using the creative mode and god mode to be able to get in and out i've actually given us a way in and out what we do is we go up here we open up our shutter we drop down the bottom here and this wonderful shape here if I can find it for you, I'll show you exactly what it is. It is, it's in the window section here. Uh, where are we there? And it's this piece here, the cube half thin window. Now what this does, we back ourselves all the way back up to the bars here. When we get zombies in the pit, this actually allows us to not only throw molotovs, so we can kill the zombies in the pit, but it also, and, and, and grenades too, we can throw those down there as well. But what it does allow us to do, without, with, with less trouble than I've had in previous videos, it allows us to chuck molotovs as well. So we've basically got a no trap, completely cheesed out, throwable only horde base, ready for the 5x5 five five challenge. We can get in and out of this. We can repair this, although I'm not anticipating needing very many repairs. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to do. It's a little bit it's a little bit hackneyed. It's a little bit trite. You know, if you're a little claustrophobic, you probably won't enjoy this one very much. But um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run a horde and we're going to see exactly what this thing does. So, um, yeah, with that in mind, let's get started. So we're going to set this up for a horde night, okay? As per the rules of the challenge, we're within the 5x5 five five boundaries, 5 blocks wide by 5 blocks wide, as many blocks high or low as you need to go. You cut Once you're in and the Horde Knight starts, you can't leave. If you live, you survive the Horde, you win. If you don't and you die or you leave the 5x5, five, the five five, you lose. So those are the rules. So there we are. We've got level 300, game stage 553, so we're on, we're on day 165, and we're ready to go. We are loaded up with... A little bit of ammo. We got a handful of pipe bombs. We got a handful of grenades and whatnot. We don't have very many Molotovs because I wasn't sure how well the Molotovs are going to work. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give myself another handful of mollies, just like that. So we've got a few mollies. We've got a few grenades. We've got a few pipe bombs. So this this should work. Technically, this should work as a um, as a cobblestone build, as a concrete build, as a steel build. It's all been painted, but it is actually made out of steel. But this th this should work. You should be able to adapt this for like an early game horde. I I'm absolutely convinced that this will that this will work. I'm I'm absolutely convinced that this is going to work. I'm that confident it's going to work. I'm going to say that you should go ahead and build this for an early game horde base. Okay, it's a lot of digging involved, obviously. So in the early game, it's going to be rough. But yeah, definitely worth doing. But anyway, should we should we just get on with it? Should we just get on with it? So we'll set time. Day 165, time 21.59, go, we're a minute away from Horde, and here we go. Right, let's um, let's get our guns repaired. I'm not anticipating needing an awful lot of guns. This is, this is based around, this is based around throwables. All right, here they come. 
And down they go. Down into the pit. Now, what we're going to do at some point is um, I'm going to wait until I get them all in there. They're taking a few swings at the bits on the way down. But it's one of the reasons why we added the extra redundancy in the middle. So if they do take a swing at the way down, they're going to have to knock out a lot of plates. The whole point of this is that once they actually get down there, once they get down there, so we do that, we do that, we do that, we come out of our body. Once they get down into the pit, I wish I had some light down here so you guys could see. But basically, they don't really, they don't, they don't do anything. They don't dig. They just kind of mill around in the middle and, and do, and do nothing. So, we're going to wait until we fill up the whole thing. Let me get all the way back up into my body. There we go. Let's get back into there. Come out of third person as well. So, yeah, I mean, and look at these, these guys. They're, they're milling around. They're mooching around. They're not doing anything. They're taking a swing as they go in. But we don't... I mean, the, the, the gun is for the puking policemen and the vultures. And if any of the zombies decide to jump over our little cheese, our cheese lip here, so they don't actually fall in, we can um we can just get them away from the edge by just by just shooting them, but they're still coming. They're still coming. They're still falling. I think they're all in. I think there's nothing else spawning. You can't really see it very well. So what we're gonna do? If we can light, if I do this right, if I do this right, we're gonna light this up. We're gonna light this up at the bottom. So I mean, effectively, we could stop here. This is it. Challenge over. We're done now. There's 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 there's, 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 there's nothing left to do. We beat the challenge. We could wait this out for the entire night. But what we're gonna do? We're going to lob a molly or two because we've got some rads down there as well. Now that now they're lit up like a freaking Christmas tree down there. You can see what's going on. And we're just going to let those suckers burn. We're just going to let them burn. We're going to see what kind of XP we get out of this. Should be good. It should be good. What we might do, actually, is we'll, um, we'll, chuck, a, uh, we'll chuck a little nade down the chute as well. And kablam. Well, that was worth 13,300 XP. Let's lob a pipe bomb down there too. That was nice, fourteen thousand three hundred and fifty. That's all good. So what we're going to do? We got some. We got some pipe bombs and what have you left over. We won't light these. We'll um. We'll preload the chute. We'll chuck a couple of pipes down there. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll get it that. that so we got ten grenades left there, and we'll do it. So we got ten pipe bombs left there. And what I just discovered as part of this demonstration is that Molotovs can actually trigger grenades and pipe bombs. So we're going to fill the pit up. I mean, we're so far away from, from 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 demos and from exploding coppers. The only danger we'll have to worry about down there is whether or not they do actually explode and and break the um. Ah, look at that! See, look, he made it across. Yeah, you need to you need to go away, mate. Go away. Go on. down. You go down the hole. Go on. Off you go. So we're gonna wait until we fill this up so we can maximise our XP. We're gonna get maximum XP out of this. We're basically we've loaded that up with I don't know two or three. Two or three, um, two or three grenades, and two or three pipe bombs. I think that's all of them again. All right, we're backed all the way up. We're just going to aim for the middle of the chute, like the Molotov, and down we go. I don't know whether or not they that actually blew the grenades up, or did that did that trigger the grenades or the pipe bombs? I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll lob one down there anyway, just in case it didn't, and we'll lob a pipe bomb down there too. Well, that definitely triggered something. Something down there went bang. I don't know. Oh, yikes. 21,000 XP. And the suckers down there are still burning. Oh, this... Okay, this is too easy now. This is too easy. All right, Glock. We need a new challenge. We need a new challenge. This 5x5 five five challenge has become easy. It's become a freaking cakewalk. Or maybe we need some new parameters to the challenge. I don't know. Can we um can we make it so there's no cheese allowed? Because honestly, if you're allowed to use these looping cheeses, I mean, I'm just literally just standing here. I'm standing here waiting for the pit to fill up with zombies. I've barely had to fire a shot the entire night, except for one zombie that made it across the um that made it across the cheese loop. And there's no vultures, there's no coppers, there's no demos. I mean, we're literally, we're farming XP at this point. This is what we're doing. All we're doing right now is we are farming experience. This is, this is so, this is so cheap as well. So cheap. I mean, if you're out, if you're out questing and you're getting quest rewards and whatnot from your traders and stuff, you're going to be getting Molotovs as part of your quest rewards. 
you're going to get Molotovs. You're going to get offered Molotovs as part of your quest rewards. I always take them because I love Molotovs. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know how much I love Molotovs and also how bad I am at throwing Molotovs. But honestly, they're so strong. They're so cheap. And the value you get out of a couple of good Molotov throws is absolutely it's just, it's just crazy. This is going to be, for the 5x5 five five challenge, this is the most chilled out and relaxed I think I've ever been doing a Horde Night. At game stage 300 on Warrior difficulty. Uh, sorry, level 300. Game stage 550 on Warrior difficulty. This is without a doubt the most relaxed I've ever been. I, am, I don't feel like I'm in any danger here whatsoever. I really, really don't. And the beauty about this particular base design is, I mean, you could stand here and you could you could bullet hose to, to your heart's content. You could be out here with like you know, as much ammo as you wanted with your M60, your SMG, your pipe rifle, your sniper rifle, whatever you wanted to do. You could just, you could be out here, you could be hosing zombies down or you could do what I do. And what we'll do, let's see if we can get all these guys in one go. So we'll go, I'm going to go with one, two, I'm going to go with three pipe bombs. I'm going to load this up with one, two, three grenades. And then I'm going to go for one one active grenade straight down the chute. And kablooey, 49,450 XP. <laughs> oh, yikes. All right, guys. I think, I think it's official. I think the 5x5 five five challenge may actually be done now i think this is a i mean it's it's it, it's great fun i've had a lot of fun building this stuff see look okay right there's our first demo of the night if we got one all right there's just one he's going down the hole that's good there's another oh we got two and i see a puking cut right now it's starting to get a little bit funky because we're going to get vomited at now so this is where we use our gun we get rid of that guy there's the puke there's the puke now, if we could get them over here without them vomiting, what I should have done maybe is, is built this with hatches instead of bars so they couldn't see me. Because obviously they're going to vomit. As soon as they see me, they're going to vomit. If I, if I could have built this top section with hatches instead of bars, then they probably wouldn't have seen me at all. And the vomit would have probably been uh, just a, a non-existent thing. But as it is... We got to deal with these guys now because this is what we've done. This is what we've gone for. Did I speak too soon? Did I say I've made? Did I say it was too easy and I've spoken too soon? We don't have to worry about the demos. We leave those guys alone. And the beauty of this shape that we put down here as something to stand on is I can't fall down it. I don't fit through it. Yet it's perfect, absolutely perfect for throwables. It's perfect for throwables. All you got to do is back yourself up into the bar, aim your crosshair right at the middle for diddle. Like that. And completely balls it up like I just did. Cut. Okay. Molotov shoot. Take two. Alright, so we aim the cursor at the middle. We light a Molotov. We throw it down the middle. There we go. We got it right. We got it right. Only took us two takes to get it right. I knew I was getting... I mean, it wouldn't be a Hell's Janitor video without me setting myself on fire at least once, right? Now I don't know whether or not these things are trick. Can these, if I I know if you throw it at if you throw this thing at a demolisher when it's running at you, there's a chance that you can hit him in the chest plate. You can give him the teddy twister with the Molotov, which is bad. From up here, I don't know whether or not these things actually trigger. Oh, they've started digging. They've either started digging or they've blown up some or, or some of the stuff down there has blown up because I can see them moving out of the corners down there. That may have been the grenades. That may have been the pipe bombs that did that. I mean, I didn't put... There's there, there are no player place blocks down there. All there is is bedrock and soil. That's it. Because in my experience, since since the Fun Pimps changed the way zombie AI works to try and combat the elevated um, corridor bases, so basically when any zombie takes any damage, any full damage in particular, is they automatically go into their destroy everything or destroy area mode. Which means the elevated bases that are supported on pillars are, are then become vulnerable. But when they, in my experience, if they fall down into a pit that you've made where it's just got terrain blocks down there, there are no player place blocks down there at all. They don't actually attack anything. They generally they they, they ignore terrain blocks. They uh, if I if I'd line this up with concrete blocks all the way down to the bottom, 
chances are they would have absolutely decimated the side walls by now because as soon as they take full damage, unless they take further damage from a player, they will attack blocks. But then again, we are... We, I mean, do... Do these, um, do these throwables count as player damage? Is that stopping them from going into destroy area mode? It might be. All right, all I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm just, I literally, I'm just filling up the pit. I don't want to trigger anything up here. All I'm, all I'm interested in, in doing is making sure that the coppers don't spit at us. You can, we, we, we've lost 13 HP so far. 13 HP just from a little bit of stray cop vomit. Okay, fella, come on. You're the you're the straggler. Down down you go. Down you go. There you go. And into the pit they go. Right, we're gonna load this up with grenades this time. So we're gonna go with one. Two. Three. Four. And we'll light the last one. Down she goes. All the way to the bottom. I wish you guys could see that a little bit better. But kaboom, thirty-two thousand seven hundred XP. We have Oh, and then a, another explosion as well. Maybe that was a demo that triggered down there. I'm not sure what happened. Probably was, actually. He probably went kablooey. But the good thing about this is, is even if they do start to dig, even if... Oh, there's doggos in there as well. Nice. Even if they do start to dig, even if they do start to blow up, we get we get policemen in there that explode, we get demos in there that explode, it really... It doesn't matter. As long as the zombies don't destroy any of these blocks around... These yellow blocks around the edge here, or the blocks supporting them, and they don't destroy any of the middle blocks, which you can see here. There's a little. It's a. You can see just just taking a smidgen of damage there already. As long as they don't knock any of those out, we're fine up here. This platform will stay up. It's supported on enough blocks, and the good thing about it is, is that it's not supported at the bottom. It's 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 literally held up by being attached to the stone layer underneath the topsoil, just by attaching blocks to the side and then building up on top of that. Those extra half blocks haven't messed with the pathing. I mean, the guy, the zombies, they're coming over. Thank you, Mr. Copper. That was a, a free explosion for me. Took out a handful of zombies. I don't know if I get credit for that. Do I get XP for that? I don't think so. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're, make, we're making so much XP, it's crazy. Now, there is one fatal flaw. There is one fatal flaw with the base. Is that you can't... It's impossible to get down there to get the loot. And to kill the stragglers. There's no ladders, there's no chute, there's, 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 there's no anything down there. So if you were going to adapt this to an actual working horde base, you would obviously you wouldn't need to stick within the confines of the 5x5 five five challenge. I mean, I don't... It's just for demonstration purposes. I don't really care about the loot. The loot can stay down there. The zombies can stay down there until, until the cows come home. They can beat on the walls. They can do whatever they want. They can't beat down because there's an indestructible layer of, um, of bedrock beneath them. They can only dig sideways, and even if they do dig sideways, they are literally going to accomplish nothing because they can't bring the base down. So essentially, they could, we, we've, just, we've just made a pit. That's all we've done. We've made a pit. We filled it with, we, we, we filled it with rotten flesh. And we're perfectly safe up here. You know, you, like I said earlier, you can, you can sit here, you can ride this whole thing out, you don't have to kill a single zombie if you don't want to. But for 34,650 XP, for some dirt cheap, dirt cheap pipe bombs, you know, you re we really have turned this into an XP farm. Now, when this is over, and I'm I'm so supremely confident now that I'm going to say when when this is over, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to use the, the god mode to get down there. I'll use the god mode to get down there. We can go and see what kind of damage they've done and whatnot, but I'm not going to, um, there's no point me detaching my body and going down there and having a look, because it's so freaking dark down there, I didn't put any light or anything down there, which I, you know, if I'd had a little bit more forethought, I probably could have done that, probably should have done that, but hey-ho, there it is, I wanted to stick true to the actual spirit of the 5x5 challenge, I didn't want to add any extra, any extra blocks down there so, so, so people could see. You know, I didn't want to go outside the confines of the 5x5, and I really wanted to test this properly, so the, um... Um, so it would actually work, you know, it's an actual legit, you know, 100% pure playthrough of just the 5x5. There's a lot of coppers showing up, though. I mean, I don't, I don't really care. We're pretty well armed. Just gonna wait for the pit to fill up again. We might get one more wave out of this. 
if I kill all these guys, we should get at least one more wave out of this. Right, let's load up with... I mean, this is really cost... This is cost us... This has cost us nothing. Right, there's four grenades in the... Four, four grenades in the hole. Fifth grenade to set them all off. And kablooey, 39,750 XP. And we reset and we go again. Yeah, I think I think the five by five challenge is 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 done. I don't think we're going to have any problems here at all. I don't know why we're not getting any vultures. I haven't seen a vulture, not a radiated vulture, not a regular vulture, not in the last few horde night um, base them base demonstrations that I've done. Have I actually seen a vulture at all? I keep putting in defenses to deal with vultures. And in this one, all you would do is you would probably just... You just open the hatch and shoot them. And then when they're dead, you close the hatch. What was that? I'm not paying attention. Oh, it's you, wasn't it? Yeah, great big sack of... Stomach acid. Right, yeah, just take care of these guys. We don't want to deal with the vomit. I mean, I haven't even—I haven't even healed myself at all. Not even a little bit. And we—we we were down to 187 health. We've now recouped that. We're up to 193. I mean, yeah, I think, I think, I, I know. I keep saying it at, at, at the risk of repeating myself and sounding redundant. I think we're done. We're just going to wait for these last lot of zombies to fall into the pit because that's now 4 a.m. There's the chime for the morning. It's four o'clock. Horde night is over. And we have got a an absolute carpet of 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 just we, we got a carpet of the smell I, I swear to god, if this was like if this was real and you were up here, the smell wafting up from down there must be absolutely disgusting. Alright, let's get rid of that last guy because he's a slow straggler. Any more slow stragglers up here? Oh no, he, I just, all I did was knock his arm off. Seriously, dude. Honestly, somebody have a word with Kenny. Sort himself out. All right. Okay, we'll go with four. four and then the last one will be five. That, will that be enough? That should be enough. This should be enough to kill them all. I think it is. Oh, no. No, the rads are still down there. All right, we might have to fill up a few more. Let's get a few more down there. Let's see if we can kill them all before we go, before, before we go God mode down there. Let's see if we can get all the rads. The rads might be a problem. They might be a problem. They might not be a problem. Yeah, this those suckers are still getting up. Dude, those rads are tanky boys. They are tanky boys. I don't like the fact that I keep on bouncing these grenades off the side of the chute. That's obviously why I keep setting myself on fire. Right, is that going to be enough? All right, it was 1,950. There's still one more down there. All right, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to see if I can get this down the chute. There we go. Straight down the middle. Oh, dear. I forgot. <laughs> I'm not lighting the Molotovs. Oh, my days. Oh, my good God. Come on. We had this working before. There we go. Right. Let's get the... Uh, let's just turn this into a... I bet. Oh, for the love of Pete. How do I keep getting this so wrong? How can I throw all those Molotovs first off? And then get it so drastically wrong. And see, look, that one was in exactly the same place. All right, what gives? I don't know what gives. I don't know whether or not that zombie is dead. I think there's still one down there. I can't hear him. I can't see him. But we're going to god mode down to the bottom of the pit and go and have a look. And see if he's still down here. Let's have a look. See who's down here. Yeah, they opened this out a little bit. I think I... No, I didn't get him. Look, there he is. He's right there. Is he dead? Did I kill him? No, he's dead now. So they, they opened that out quite a bit. That's probably from demo explosions. Maybe they started digging. Um, but yeah, I mean, they can only dig horizontally. I don't think they can dig upwards. And as you can see... From here, this is what's holding the base up. These half blocks attached to the stone. Here, this is what's holding the base up. So th there's nothing they, they they could remove. Like I, I don't know how much they'd have to remove down here to even bring that thing down. I don't even think it's possible. But yeah, this um, if you were doing this in as a real base, you would definitely want to um to add yourself 
something like 15, 20 blocks away. You want to go like over here and then add yourself a hatchway over there. And, with, you know, with a ladder to drop down and then dig horizontally over towards the pit. So after Horde Night is over, you could you could go access your hatch, drop down the bottom, open up all your loot bags and whatever have you. But for the purposes of this challenge, I think we're done. I think we're done. That one was, uh, that, that one, that one works way, way, way better than I thought it was. Even though I set myself on fire a couple of times. Yeah, absolutely no drama whatsoever. So yeah, five by five challenge. All done. If you've enjoyed this video, if you've liked it, if you've liked this, then please, 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 um, tell me that you've liked it. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Consider dropping a sub as well. Um, and, um, and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I also stream, uh, Monday through Friday. Every uh, every Monday through Friday, starting at 5 p.m. GMT um, over on Twitch. Link for my Twitch channel will be in the description um, down below. But, um, yeah, if you've made it through to the end here, thank you so much for hanging. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Like I say, don't forget to hit the sub button if you'd like to see more content like this. But, yeah, until next time, guys, remember, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. I've been Hell's Janitor. This has been 7 Days to Die. I will hopefully catch you guys in the next video. But until then... Have yourselves a fantastic day.